four tips. Uh, don't forget your glasses. If you work on the construction business, remodeling, or anything which you need to protect your eyes, don't forget because if it's something getting in your face, you can hurt your eyes. Don't forget this. Okay, now I want to talk to you about the pouch. The pouch is something very important in the project. So, because we need to carry almost all the tools we need. In this case, a lot of people use the pouch like this. It's nothing wrong, but because if you want to carry something, a bag, or you want to go on the stair, in the stairway, you need this free space in your body so you can work on it. But the original uh, position is not this, it's this way. This way, why? Because if you use it this way, every time you need something, you have to bend your whole body to look for or this way, you know? So it's very complicated, but if you put it in the front, here you got everything. Your phone, your knife, you put a knife, your pen, your tape, your square, chalk line, whatever you need, the hammer. You can have two hammers or something else. That's the second tip. The third is this, your water. I'm gonna open it because it's so hot here. Let me drink a little bit. Before I put the cup, I do this. See? And I put the cup. Why? Because this is my water. It's not yours. Or your water is not mine. So this is the way you protect your water. You put it here, you put it there, anywhere. And nobody gonna drink your water. Or you will not drink somebody else's water. This is like a mark you put in the bottle of water. So I think this is a good uh, tip. So this is the way, let's see, uh, you have the flu or something, you don't want somebody to drink your water, right? So this is something to make sure it's your water. You can keep it also here, why not? So now we go to the other tip. This one is very, I will take this one. This one is very, very important. Let's say you are working with sheetrock, wood, tile, something, and you need just a little piece, you need the whole piece. And let's say, let me get a tape. Let's say you want to, you want to cut just like one inch. You put your mark here, and you put your mark right here. So this is one inch. And then we're gonna use this. This we can make our line straight. Right? Okay. And right. But what happens if you don't have this? You don't have a two by four? You don't have a rule? You don't have nothing to make the line straight. You can use your finger and the pen, like this, and you can mark any size, probably up to two inches. So here, let's see. We're gonna start right here, here. I wanna do this, see, one inch. One inch. But you say, no, this is probably is too big. We need half inch, so half inch is almost here. So when well, you put your finger here, and then you mark right here, half inch. You see? Even if you want a little more, let's say here, you just go like this. See? You see, the line, the pen is in the same way. You can make any line just using your finger. 
But something very important, every time you do this, if you're not using gloves, make sure your nails, they don't get into the wood or into the piece of metal because you're gonna hurt your fingers. That's a lot of pain. So make sure you protect your nails. Use only the finger, not your nails. Your finger, that, that's what you're gonna use, okay? So this is say something very easy in case you have something to make the line, use your fingers. And that's very, very easy. In my channel, I have a lot of videos. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do it. Please do it. And thank you so much for watching me to the end.